What is going on YouTube, if there's a fan video, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for all the latest UK media updates and story videos and today we got another The Story video on Heady 1. I've been waiting to do this guy for ages, he's one of the kings of the drill scene in the UK, if not the go. So let's get into it, but comment below as always who you want to see next. Let's try and get this episode to a thousand likes and I will drop another one on Friday, so make sure you smash the like button as well and comment below who you want to see next. Lots of people ain't done, so make sure you get commenting. As always, we start with the intro and facts. Heady One's real name is Irvin Ajay. He was born on the 6th of October 1994, just 26 years old. Of course, he's from Tottenham, which is that OFB collective and then roots he's from. One of the oldest members and definitely one of the goats. He is British slash Ghanaian and he grew up on the Boardwater Farm housing estate. In his youth, he was obsessed with football and he played for the local team. Then he was due to have a trial with professional team Stephen Edge, but an ankle fracture led to his exit from the sport. He's also a supporter of Manchester United. His name comes from his childhood nickname due to his head resemblance of a 50p coin. When he was younger, they called him Heads. Heady One having this laid back personality has been a massive advantage for him. Stuff like that, where he might have been bullied or picked on someone else, he used it to his advantage and made it his actual name, Heads, literally embracing it. And stuff like when he was attacked in a uni, which we'll get into later, on making a song about it, nothing can face this guy, he's got a really laid back character. But now let's just get into his music horizon and talk about the come up and how he got to where he is now. The green sides of bag of snakes, cobras, that's why the strap's shiny and black. This is Heady One rapping with Star Gang very early on back in 2011 which is 9 years ago. He said he then went prison and when he come out he decided to take music serious because he clearly had a talent for it. And it stays that way. So when you see that group in red they ain't the fire brigade. Catch a pagan, sit back and pop champagne. A lot of his early work would feature his right hand man RV, like his behind bars on Link Up TV, which has got over 5 million views on YouTube. And also, they're mad about bars, got 3.2 million views as well. He put out countless tracks all around the different platforms and was building his name up slowly, but the track really for him to take off was that feature with RV called Nobel. The song has amassed over 10 million views to this day and was him addressing a situation where some people were pressuring him at a university. Let me play the clip and we'll talk about it after. Fun back on him. Hey, let me get out of here. Hey, yo, yo, you come on, bro. Are you mad? Brother, let me get out of here. What are you doing, G? Fun, fun, fun. Shit, I can't. Them things they're not funny, bro. Them things are not funny, bro. One. Let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Let me get out of here, bro. Fun, fun. Let me get out of here. Don't play that kind of shit. Let me get out of here. Fun, don't play that. Let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Of course you can see in this clip it's like he's reaching his bag to get saying and in the song no but he does say I could have let it off in a uni room but I know better that was the main hook saying for these guys where he's outnumbered he could have pulled it out and done something but he's on camera and in a bait place. The full clip is on YouTube but obviously I'm not going to show it on my channel because YouTube don't like that side of things but they did actually try to attack him and he managed to get away then they followed him up to some sort of room as well but it looks like Heady One's in this situation by himself and outnumbered this guy turned an L into a W like a genius. From this, I would say it was his feature list that really, really blew him up. Starting off with Belly Squad song, which is on 13 million views on Grime Daily. That is an absolute classic. Of course, he was on the Crept and Conan I Spy remix, him and K Trap. That's on 8.1 million views on YouTube. He had a song with Young Bane and Kenny Allstar. His song with Dave is on 13 million views called 18 Hunter. The Young T and Bugsy Don't Rush feature he's got as well as his most viewed track on YouTube on 60 million views and definitely his biggest song. The song literally turned into an online meme. The Don't Rush thing, everyone's using it as a challenge and showing their worst self across to their best self and it was all over TikTok and transferred to Instagram as well. That's why it's his biggest song. It went everywhere. He's got both as well which hit the radio 15 million views. That's probably his biggest solo track. Then recently the album album as well he's got the feature on there with drake is on 22 million views on youtube he had the aj tracy and stormzy feature ain't it different which is on 50 million views as well the recent album drop ed Knight has done really really well which hit the charts at number one other features on the album include M. Huncho, Young T and Bugsy, he had H on there, Future, Skepta and what an album it was he must be a really likeable guy to get that many big artists on his album I was a victim of burglary. I don't know how to feel still. I don't know if I should feel like a idiot. 
but mm-mm. all I know is that fucking yeah man weren't really nice they stole my fucking a few valuable stuff still I feel a bit helpless but fuck it man you know I always say there's some things you can't control in life you know a burglary like you're never gonna know who done it another country and that and that what is the point it's got to just take the L on the chin more left Nowadays, just being a good rapper is not enough to make you absolutely blow up and Heady One's laid back, likeable character turned him into an online meme. Just simply in an interview on Graham Daly's platform, Not For The Radio, he was getting interviewed and he said a quote, it's a bit of a sticky one still, that went everywhere and turned him into an online meme, which blew him up as well. It's a bit of a sticky one still, obviously right now anyway, maybe in the future that can change. It's, it's a, it's, it's a split, it's a... But talking of sticky situations, at the start of this year on the 8th of January 2020, Heady One was jailed for six months for possession of a blade. It wasn't the first time he's been prisoned. In 2014, he was sentenced to 30 months after being caught with nearly £30,000 worth of heroin and cocaine in Aberdeen Railway Station. Seems like he's turned his life around now and's focused on his music. A number one album, he's one of the biggest rappers in the UK. He's got that Drake feature and he's doing big things. A recent statue of him in London and even the Alexa co-sign has topped it off. He's one of the kings of drill in the UK, if not the king and the goat. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for all the latest UK media updates, store videos, and of course, comment who you want to see next. Let's try and get this to a thousand likes. Push it if you support the channel. I'll see you in my next one. Peace out.